Hello, I'm Odin, and today, yeah, let's do that. It's a plasmid container from Bioshock. Over on DIY Prop Shop, Hendo made a really cool atom gun from Bioshock. So I thought I'd make a plasmid container. To start the container, I picked up a glass face. Hobby Lobby had a big selection of glass faces, and these are the closest in shape, but they're a little bigger than I hoped for, so I guess these are going to be a family-sized plasmid bottle. I'll start by tracing the shape of the glass onto the paper and sketching a pattern for making the ribs of the bottle. This one will do, but they need to be a little thicker. So I cut a full sheet of EVA foam in half and use contact cement to layer it back together. I traced the pattern out eight times. I could cut them down with a razor knife, but my scroll saw will be faster and the cuts will be at 90 degree angles. With a razor knife, it's easy to cut something this thick with a slight angle. Then I'll test fit the ribs. I want a bottom for the bottles, and a roll of tape is about the right size. So I trace some circles, cut them out, make them into rings, and fit them onto the glass. And then I can glue on 2mm craft foam to complete the bottom. And now to start the top of the bottle. The top needs to fit around the ribs and hold an LED light. I mark a circle to cover the opening, cut it out, and use a random orbit sander to round the edges of the foam. I'm going to need something to hold the ribs to the lid. I trace the glass onto some 5mm craft foam and cut it to fit inside the opening. PVC is about the right size. I use a piece of inch and a half PVC to trace and cut an opening to let the light in and so I can fill the glass with plasmid. So what I want to do... I can use a piece of scrap double foam to size where the ribs will fit, and then I can trace a puck light to fit in the center. I cut the lid pieces out, and they're actually a little smaller than I thought they would be. Then I'll fiddle with everything to check that it works. Trim the top of the ribs to fit the light, and then glue all nine pieces together with contact cement. I'll use hot glue to hold the lid on, and attempt to seal the glass bottle. Then I tape off the glass so the contact cement only goes where I want it to when I glue the ribs onto the glass face. There's a bump on the top of the container and a stopper that has a face. For mine, I want to use the bump to hide the light and I'll actually attach the stopper to it so the whole thing will become my lid. I cover the puck light with a double ring of 2mm foam and a disc of 5mm foam. To make the stopper, I start with a 3 quarter inch PVC cap. This one has a logo on the end, so I sand it down smooth. I probably didn't need to, but I wanted to. I wrap 2mm foam around the cap to make it smooth, and then add a second layer with a cutout for the face, and cover the top so everything has the same foam texture. I glue the stopper to the LED light bump, and cut out a tiny piece of foam for the nose. I try to cut an angle on one end of the nose piece, so when it's glued down, the top can blend into the face. I'll paint the rest of the details later. Because the ribs are made with two layers of foam, there's a seam that runs down each rib. So I cut a strip of foam smaller than the rib and glue it on to cover the seam and add a ridge to the corners. I've got these built up to the point I'm happy with them. What I want to do is actually seal the foam now and I'm going to use Mod Podge. Typically, I'll spray things down with Plasti Dip, but I thought I would try something new for me. I've never used Mod Podge, seems like a perfect project to start. After I apply two coats of Mod Podge, I can start to paint the bottles. I'm just going to use acrylic craft paints. The faces are bright silver, and the main body is a dark pewter color. I add red eyes to the face, and black lines for the mouth and the eyebrows. I add a little black wash to the stopper, but the pewter color is so dark, I can hardly see the black paint. And so to make the plasma that goes into the jar, I'm going to use hair gel. I got this, which I was happy with, but they didn't have red, so I got to add food coloring to the clear. I cut the bottom off of a water jug to use as a mixing container. I empty the gel bottles into it, and then add some red food color. Lots of food color. 
Once mixed, I can carefully pour the red hair gel plasmid into the bottle. I'm careful to not drip any on the outside of the bottle. Adding the blue hair gel is a lot easier. The vases were bigger than I thought, and I actually needed three bottles of gel to fill each one. Now I don't want the light to get covered with gel, especially when I have to press them to light them up. So to keep the LED lights clean, I'll cut the package the lights came in to cover the opening for the gel, which will act as a barrier between the lights and the gel. I think I'll hot glue the plastic in place later. The LED puck lights are not glued into the foam lids, so I can change the batteries when I need to. And now I have a plasmid bottle and a gene tonic bottle. All the materials I used were picked up locally, and I put a part list in the description. Now, there's plenty of different ways that you can make something, but this is how Odin makes. If you like the video or have other ideas for something for me to make, please leave them in the comments below. And if you make any of these projects for yourself, I'd love to see a picture. Send me one at odin at odinmakes.com. Now if I take this plasma, it'll give me the ability to speak like a human.